This shelf is antibodies, and that shelf is um, chemicals. It's crazy when I look back to like myself as a freshman and kind of all the things that I've learned since. Engineering is very difficult, uh, so you have to be really passionate about it to get through the tough classes. We have a freshman level lab skills class and she liked it enough that she wanted to try uh, her hands on in the lab. Undergraduate research has been a huge opportunity. She's worked on several different projects over the years. She's also worked on her own project uh, where at the point when no one else in the lab was working on it. I study Schwann cells which are part of your peripheral nervous system. This cell type is very important in healing and so if we can better understand how these cells work we can hopefully increase that, that healing behavior to help people who have nerve damage. That exposure to research, which really isn't just hands-on, right? It's, it's a lot of thought and processing, and there's a lot of design in research. I use a biomaterial gel. I'll just culture the cells on top of them, and then I use different experiments to kind of evaluate how the cells are reacting. It really helps students grow tremendously. It applies stuff that they learn in the classroom that they're like, I'm never gonna use that. And then they suddenly use it in the lab and they're like, oh, yeah, I, I guess I did. Yeah, I've been really fortunate to have like great mentors here. That relationship develops over time and it's very similar to what you would develop in graduate school, except you know, we have the opportunity to do that at the undergraduate level. So she's bumping between sides and I'm just trying to keep her on the path to thinking about what she wants to do um, long term. It's very easy to be hesitant, um, try to plan every little thing and like make sure you know exactly what you're doing going into it. Sometimes there's no correct way in research, right? We have to try it and see if it works and if it doesn't then okay well how do we fix it? And sometimes she just <laughs> looks at us and says just do it, like just get your hands dirty and like do it. The best students really come out and demonstrate their ability to keep jumping in and maybe needing a life preserver to get back out. That's science, right? That's engineering. That's, that's what's great about it. I'm going to Vanderbilt University in Nashville to pursue a PhD in biomedical engineering. The disease I'll focus on is arthritis. Everybody knows somebody who has arthritis because if you live long enough, you're going to get it because um, all it is is the deterioration of your cartilage. So I have a lot of family members who have osteoarthritis. All they can do right now for it is once it gets bad enough they give you a joint replacement. And then my mom actually was recently diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis. Her joints are breaking down because her body is actually attacking them. We're gonna start with osteo um, and I hope like in the later years of my PhD we can switch over and like look at how this therapy could help um, with the autoimmune type as well. Carly is very driven um, she knows what she wants to do. Uh, she's willing to fail. I mean, there's just, there has to be a better way to do it, you know.